hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see drop down menu widget in flutter so this widget is can be a replacement to your drop down menu button so suppose if you have a list of items let's see like this i have my list of items and i want to show it in the button when i clicked on it i can see the options and i can select the option so how we can use a drop down menu let's start so here's our video we have a center title so let's give it a space using some sized box let's give it a height of let's say 30 and we'll remove this const and now we'll simply give our drop down menu So as you can see it takes in a drop down menu entries so for this it takes in a list that is array so for that we'll map our my items dot map and it takes drop down menu entry so for the entry it takes in two that is a value the value will be our e and for the label that you want to show that is the title that would be also our e dot to list okay so let's just save our app so now as you can see we have our widget visible it just like a drop down button now we are not able to see anything so for that if your initial item is not selected that is we have an option called initial selection you can if it has the item in your entries you can simply give it like item one let's just save the app it will be show as an initial entry but if you don't have your initial item what you can do is you can simply provide a hint text call let's say we'll use like select item okay so let's just save the app we'll hot restart our application so that it will reflect so now as you can see we have our hint text which is select item we can also change the width let's give it a width of let's say 300 for it need to change we'll again hot restart our application so now the width of our widget is changed i'll simply tap on and we are able to see the items in our list i'll click on it so now we are getting our item one selected item 2 selected similarly what you can do is if you want this value you can simply have an option which is on selected so here you will get the value that you are selected let's print our value let's say your value and this is our value so now let's just select our value as you can see item 1 value that is our printed item 2 is printed so now one of the coolest thing you can even make this as an searchable so for that you can simply enable search and true okay so let's just save the app but now as you can see i'm tapping it but this is not getting initialized or it is not showing us option to search so that for that you need to enable an option called request focus on tap let's give it a value of true so now when i'm tapping on the drop down menu it's getting focused and now we can tap 
so if the option is available it will get highlighted like this and we can hit enter so that it will get selected so now as you can see it's getting selected we can even filter out the list that is we can filter our list using enable filter option set it to true okay so now as you can see i will type on another and our list is getting filtered that is only item 3 is visible and the less rest of the list is getting filtered i can click on the item 3 and it will get selected so but for now as we are seeing that our keyboard is not getting dismissed so this is what we can do to dismiss our keyboard let's you can write focus manager dot instance dot primary focus dot unfocus okay we can save our application now let's see we can write our item 4 and when i'm hitting enter the keyboard is getting dismissed and we are getting our item 4 so this is how you can use his drop down menu widget inside your application so hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos and see you in the next video